What's good, y'all? Dak Prescott is so confident that he get the contract extension done with the Dallas Cowboys. But why, though? Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. It's your boy, K.O. Back with another episode of America's Team 86 TV, man. And please sub up. We're trying to grow this channel. Trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and get all the way up there before the season starts, man. So we can start going live. We want to get, get our hit our goals with these videos before we start going live. So I appreciate your support. If you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, if you're rocking with them Cowboys, man, come rock with me. Cause we, don't, we don't do NFL content. We do Dallas Cowboy content. You feel me? That's how we rock it. All right? But look, man, um, Dak that, that Prescott is very, very confident for some reason that he is going to get a contract extension done with the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry and Steven is talking good about it. And I can't help but ask myself, and I can't help but wonder, should he be able to be this confident? Should he just know that he going to get a contract extension done? That it's a foregone conclusion. My answer is no, bro. By all intents and purposes, Dak Prescott is a quarterback that's very good. If we do the school analogy, right? Some of you have been to college. If you ain't been to college, everybody done probably been to high school that's watching this video, right? Dak Prescott is the student that turn in all his homework on time, get A's on all his homework, do his quizzes, get A's on all his quizzes, but then when it come time for the test, he flunked the goddamn test and his excuse is that he ain't a good test taker. And so he ended up making a B in the class because you can't make an A in the class if you don't do good on your test. Bro. And that's him. Why should he be so comfortable, bro? Why should he be so comfortable, bro? No. Stop it. My dog go crazy over windshield wipe. And in football, what do I mean by that? Why, why am I making that analogy? He's the quarterback that regular season, turning up on your ass. That's the homework. That's the quizzes. Regular season, might lead the league in passing, y'all. Might lead the league in touchdown. Might be top five or six QBR. Just putting up numbers, bro. All this homework getting turned in on time. Passing all the quizzes. Getting all A's. When it comes time to take that test, though. When it comes time to take that test, though. Playoffs being the test. Well, I always flunk the test, man. I could understand if what we saw from Dak Prescott in this year's postseason game against the Green Bay Packers was an anomaly. If this isn't what we usually typically see from him. But if you go through Dak Prescott history, bro, we saw this shit twice against San Francisco. Twice. One time against Jimmy G, one time against Dirty Purdy, Brock Purdy. He's consistently outplayed by, by quarterbacks that make less money than him already before a contract extension. They make less money than him. And going into the, the game, all analysts agree that he's the better quarterback. But when it comes time to put up a shut up, he never plays better than those guys that he's supposed to be better than, bro. Is that somebody that's worth top three or four money? Is that the type of quarterback that should be so comfortable, so comfortable, that he, it's the worst kept secret in football that he gonna get extended? So comfortable that we know for a fact Cowboys ain't spending no early draft pick to find his replacement. So comfortable that his backup is a guy that flamed out 
in San Francisco. The same San Francisco that's been whooping our ass two out of the past three years in the playoffs and three out of the past three years if you include our regular season game this year. That same San Francisco that looked at, at Trey Lance and said, nah, he ain't got it. That's Dak Prescott back up. Him and Cooper Rush. Dudes that Dak ain't threatened by. That he know he ain't got to look over his shoulder. He just chilling. Relaxing. And I don't hate Dak Prescott, bro. I like that Dak Prescott as a young man. I like um, what he represents off the field. I appreciate his story for what he's been through, the trials and tribulation and adversity that he's had to overcome in his life. I rock with all of that. And I'm not even saying that the Dallas Cowboys shouldn't extend him. I'm simply saying, number one, it shouldn't be a foregone conclusion. And number two, Dak Prescott shouldn't be making the money that top guys in his position make. He's a top 15 quarterback, bro. He's a top half of the league, somewhere between 10 and 15. He should be making 10 and 15 money, bro. The idea that the NFL has, the idea that fans have, the idea that analysts have, that everybody that come up next got to set the market, except for running back, but everybody that come up next sets the market. He's the next guy up, so he's going to get this huge, big, mega contract. Why, bro? What about your performance? What about how you deliver in big moments? What about how you're judged? You play for Dallas, bro. Regular season success. You've been having regular season success your entire career. You don't get new contracts off of that. You done did that. Where's the improvement? Where's the postseason success? Where's the where's the time that we can look at and say, yo, he went he went crazy in the playoffs. He led us to a Super Bowl. He led us to an NFC Championship game. He won us the Super Bowl. It's been almost a decade. And he's going to probably be able to say, just like Tony Romo, he spent his career in one spot, his entire career, and didn't deliver them shit. So far, at least. It's time for all these Dallas Cowboys players, bro. Specifically Dak Prescott, because he's our quarterback. He gets the most publicity. He makes the most money off of this shit. Endorsements and all that old extra shit. He get all that shit, bro. You know what I mean? So, it's more so for him, because he going to get paid the big bucks and shit. But it's time for these dudes to stop being so goddamn comfortable. Stop, stop being allowed to just get paid off of hype or get paid off of failing, bro. By all intents and purposes, last season was a failure. We shouldn't even be talking new contract. We should be talking, look, you want a new contract, bro. You got to get us to the NFC Championship game. You want a new contract, bro. You got to be the quarterback that outplayed the other quarterback. If we lose a playoff game, it needs to be because... Motherfuckers just outplayed us everywhere else and not at your position. Last three years, we losing goddamn games. I'm and, 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 and we looking around, and you getting outplayed by everybody. First year starting Jordan Love, outplay your ass. Jimmy G like to go to the Playboy Hugh Hefner the mansion. Ain't that good? Outplay your ass. Brock Purdy picked it as a late-round draft pick. Outplay your ass. Like, bro, everybody outplaying you, dog. You got to get that shit together. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Smash the like, sub to the channel. I'll see y'all soon. It's your boy K.O.